Hello, quick video on the quotient rule differentiation. So you've had a look probably in the videos or uh, practice so far on the chain rule and the product rule. And the quotient rule is a variant really of the product rule. Okay, so we know how to differentiate um, a function of y equals ux times v of x. What are we going to do if we want to differentiate a function of um, u of x over v of x? So here's some examples above. So if we had e of x divided by x squared or x cubed over x squared or cos of x over x cubed. And we're going to use the quotient rule here. You'll see some similarity with the product rule. But we've got our v squared on the bottom and a change of sign here as well. Um, and it's important we get our u and our v the right way round. So let's quickly, just going to go through a very quick derivation and then we're going to look at using it. So as before, if we define our function here is y equals u of x over v of x, where we can see what they are. Um, from in our particular example and then we start on our little triangle so therefore y plus delta y in our triangle is going to be u plus delta u over v plus delta v here and of course y we know is always going to be u over v and to get delta y on its own we therefore a little, a little delta y here we need to take away and subtract um, minus u over v, u over v from both sides. So there we are. Now here, in this expression here, well, what we got? We've got some fractions here, the algebraic fractions. So what do we have to do? We have to create a common denominator. So here's our common denominator, v um, plus times uh, brackets v plus delta v. Yeah. And of course, we're just going to use our cross multiplication. So we multiply the bottoms, don't we, in a fraction, then we cross multiply um, top top left to bottom right and take um, this is the subtraction so then we're going to take away top right multiplied by bottom left so there we are so on the top left bottom right combination we have v u plus delta u and on the top right bottom left we have take away u times brackets v plus delta v we expand the brackets we find that we've got u v in both of these brackets so they're going to cancel out aren't they and that leaves us with our v delta u minus u delta v yep and on the bottom we have just our denominator there we are so that's what we're looking at at this point now uh, and what we're interested in again is um, finding de uh, delta y over delta x, so we're going to divide through by delta x. So um, here we have a delta y over delta x, and that's going to equal v times delta u over delta x minus u times delta v over delta x. And on the bottom we've got a v plus delta v um, in brackets times v. Now if we limit this lot as um, delta m x tends to zero well we know what's going to happen on the top but let's just have a think about what happens to this bracket here well that delta v gets smaller and smaller and smaller so we end up with v times v which is v squared isn't it so therefore our equation our, um, for finding dy by dx our equivalence here is dy by dx equals uh, plus v du by dx. So remember that we need to be clear, um, look at the signs here, that we've got the right way round, that the u is the, the function on the top and the v is the function underneath. Because when we're going to take away u dv by dx, and then we're going to divide the whole lot by v squared. So here's an example. Let's use this function here. y equals e to the x over x squared. And Therefore, our u value, that's going to be our u of x because it's on the top, and that's going to be our v of x because that's going to be on the bottom, yeah? It is on the bottom. So, using our table, tabular form that we that I suggested you using before, here we go. We write out u is e to the x, therefore du by dx equals e to the x, and v equals x squared, so dv by dx equals 2x. 
then we're going to substitute it into the in the format of this equation above. Yep, so therefore dy by dx equals our u, which is sorry, our v, which is x squared, and then our du by dx is e to the x, and then we're going to take away and subtract e to the x because that's our u and then our dv by dx is 2x and then we're going to divide the whole lot by v squared and our v is x squared and yeah, therefore that in a bracket is all squared so that's going to give us x to the 4 and it's as simple as that um, we can do some simplification at the end of these expressions here we can do some cancellation but i just want to focus on that step okay so in summary the quotient rule allows us to find the um, find the differential of um, a quotient function, i a u of x divided by a v of x, and we use this formula here, and we can use it for these sorts of functions here. So we've got e to the x over x squared, or cos of x over x cubed, or x to the power of 3 over x squared plus 1. The important thing is that you get these the right way around. It's always u's on the top and v's on the bottom, whichever you do, and then everything works. So I hope that's of use to you.